happy vein screening coming up tomorrow we want you all to know about. And you get a lot of questions, Dr. Hajbian, on do I have varicose veins or are these spider veins and what does insurance cover? How yeah. do you know the difference? So varicose veins are those large ropey veins that people see on their legs. And they're often painful, they're uncomfortable, they ache, they make the aches feel heavy and swollen and fatigued by the end of the day. Okay, that picture is probably a pretty good example or an extreme example. Yeah, it's more of an extreme. They're, they can get that large, they're, they can be smaller than that. You can have tributary or varicose veins beneath the surface caused by damaged veins inside the leg and nothing on the surface of the legs. And those are more symptomatic patients where they'll have aching and cramping and heaviness or restless legs in their legs, but they don't have any visible veins that to show for it. We do want you to know those symptoms. I think we can put all of those on the screen so you can see what Dr. Hajbian is talking about. You have swelling, that tiredness or fatigue in the leg? Fatigue in the leg, especially towards the end of the day or after exercise uh, or even before. Heaviness. Mm -hmm. uh, these are things that are normal in a person's legs. They usually are a sign of something else that's going on. So even cramping in your legs? Especially leg cramps. Mm -hmm. um, especially nighttime, frequent nighttime leg cramps can be a sign of vein disease. Do you have these symptoms with spider veins? You can, you can, but if a patient has symptoms and has spider veins, they should be evaluated for the symptoms. Spider veins by themselves are more of a cosmetic issue. How do you know if insurance covers it and, and or if you're a <laughs> candidate for a procedure? So insurance doesn't cover anything cosmetic, so okay. it won't cover spider veins in general. Um, even if you may have symptoms of vein disease, we can address the symptoms and get rid of the aching and the swelling and the pain in the legs, but insurance won't cover the cosmetic part of it. So the best thing to do is to go into that free vein screening and Dr. Hajbian can take a look. Yeah, we'll take a look and see if you're a candidate for anything. It's from 10 to 5 tomorrow at the Utah Vein Institute, December 17th. Uh, it's in Sandy, right there off 9400 South and 9th East. Go to our website for all the information. It is best to call and make an appointment. Yes. So that you know who's coming in tomorrow and you can make sure you get the amount of time you need to chat with Dr. Hajbian. But again, that free vein screening coming up tomorrow. Happy holidays. Thanks, Thank you too. for stopping by. Up next, Michelle is in the kitchen. She's with Kimmy. She has the most delicious recipe. And our